Welcome back to the Choice Podcast with Ralph and Vicky, RJ and Aubrey, and I mean, really, we're I just, don't know that I like you calling us Ralph and Vicky. It's it felt unnatural. Dad, it did feel unnatural. Yeah, that was weird. Well, mom and Dad. Everybody listening, be like, Mom and Dad, RJ and Aubrey. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, you know, I'm just saying, <laughs> we are. Uh, well, yeah, that's fair. Okay. Well, whatever. first off, we hope y'all had a merry, very merry Christmas and a happy and a New happy Year. Yes, yes. Can you believe it. Woo! January. I can't 20, believe it's twenty four. Yeah, twenty twenty four. How? How? It's, it went by too it's fast. A, gonna be a big year. It's going to be a Election. crazy year. There's lots of things going Hopefully on out there. Lots that we of can't. changes going on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Well, see, he's there. just going to go straight down I deep know. into that hole real fast. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, I just said. Oh, okay. I was just election, checking. Hopefully changes. Yeah. Okay. All yeah, right. Hopefully we're just no gonna... more viruses come around. No. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We're just going to really go back down that <laughs> hole. Holy cow. All righty. Well, what? hey. What? Well, why don't we kind of talk about what we just did in December, though, yes. shall we? Yes. Well, okay. Right now, it's December went fast. December right here for us. Yeah. Because we are filming this before the New Year because we always film before we out. Of course, right. Um, but we've been we've been busy running around. Busy. We've we had have fifty two, at least fifty two, fifty six hours in the vehicle in the past couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like what was it? Four thousand miles in yeah. two weeks. It was uh-huh. kind of a crazy, yeah, crazy. And thing. RJ drove I mean, pretty much it all. Pretty much the whole thing because he doesn't like the way that Ralph drives. So you know, and if it's I not him you? driving, then it's I'm driving. So do you like the way he drives? Who it's a, little, a little scary, you, right? It's a little scary. I'm not gonna lie because he's squinting. The, at the, especially the, at night. Or, I mean, yeah, at oh, night. no, we will not let him drive or at night. If there's no. an animal on the road, he goes towards the animal. Cause <laughs> well, if it's big, you know, yeah, you, it it now, no. and you see it's the wheel start turning and towards the animal. And then you're like, oh, God, and then wow. you're going off. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. But they're so, just being truthful. I mean, yeah. I, it's honestly... The honestly, year just beat the sleep. crap out of Ralph again. We yeah. just let him well, sleep. I mean... It's good. And, yeah. It's good. All right, I'm going to bed. A little Benadryl and we're all good to go. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Out. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but we did. We went to um, Alabama. Yes. We stayed out there by Dr. Chris's farm there. I mean, yeah. he just... Mm-hmm. A beautiful area, beautiful oh, land he gorgeous. has there. And, I mean, it's just amazing, beautiful. And you had your, your Hoyt. Yeah, my new RX-8. Yep, and mm-hmm. you shot a beautiful old buck. Beautiful. He was, he was yeah, he was old, huh? I'm going to be honest. Out of all the bucks we saw there, the trail cameras and everything yeah. else, I was sitting there hoping that you're going to shoot that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he just because he's cool. He was cool. You, you know, and, and, and he it's, was odd, but he was old, and that's yeah. why yeah. he looked so mm-hmm. like the way he did. Yeah. 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 I don't like the shooter. Odd and old, you know. I'm just saying, just you know. And, and then, then you scored. Yeah, I had my 6. browning 5. out there. Yeah, I had my browning out there, and Aubrey and I. I mean, we're, we've been tag teaming really we well this oh, fall. Yeah, I'm just saying, done. they have been kind of kicking our butts. We, I mean, I mean we, we really, really the last the last month and a half. You know, we have really, really it's been always doing chaotic something. when we're together. It is but always chaotic. It is it's always chaotic. Scary. Well, let me because let me even after Alabama, when we went to Florida, it was chaotic too, and we were filming. Yeah, when these two are together, it is. Chaos, no matter what, because <laughs> well, they're going to say, "You guys didn't do this. You got, you got to do this. You got to do that." Oh yeah, and and RJ and I are like, you know, mm-hmm. it's just, it's just what happens. But yeah, so I mean, I shot a beautiful buck down yeah, there. Yeah, you did. He was, he was so gorgeous, pretty. gorgeous buck, and just dropped him basically right there. Yeah. Boom, done. It was perfect. I mean, it, and it was really cool. Honestly, was that we were out there and you had texted us and said that you had just shot a buck. Yes. Yeah. And then my buck had walked into that green field. And I shot it, and then you we guys said, "Heard it, we yeah, heard but it. but different because I had my Griffin on it." Yeah, yes. no, and that's total. It's it's so wild because if you're not used to, you you know, hunting with suppressed, because yeah. normally you hear, and we heard a couple. Whoop. Yeah, we did. While we were there, well, we it was some, it's rifle season, yeah. you know, in Alabama. Oh, yeah. You, you hear the mm-hmm. right, and then then you hear, Ping. <laughs> you're like, oh. <laughs> That's a hit. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. We got something. So, so yeah. I, that was really cool. And uh, it just, man, it's just, it's fun that we all do this together. Yeah. It is. You and then we made, we made a nice dinner that night. We made, we had, we had made some chili, oh, yeah, right. some chili yep. mac and Lisa came out and we all shared mm-hmm. camp. We all shared dinner together because mm-hmm. well, we brought our elk meat out And you know, us. what's funny. Did you, I don't know if you know, but Miss Lisa, she, she reached out to mom yesterday, yesterday and yeah. said, Hey, do you think you could send me the recipe for <laughs> the chili? It was good. I, it so, was. so I had to show her what I did. Perfect. You know, I totally cheat just so you guys know. It's just a box. <laughs> it's on, just you might a well box. Explain it. I don't even know what it's called. It's just Eat a box. It. Like I know what the box is. It's chili I mix. I use it too. Yeah. Oh, so it's both delicious. Yeah, yes. So but there's it's delicious. That chaos. Do you, you know? do you complain about the chili we make? No. Exactly. Okay, well you, then. No. Then you better not. So they have it, have at it. Just okay. mm-hmm. can't be happy about that. Exactly. So then we went from Alabama. We packed everything up, loaded up the truck, and went to Florida. 
And of course, we went to go visit Hoppy and the family, all the Kempfers Mm -hmm. out there at Osceola Outfitters. And Liza, Liza. we got to see Sage and Blakely's new baby, Liza James. She's so stinking cute. Beautiful baby. (laughs) Beautiful baby. Adorable little baby. And we brought all of our deer meat with us, though, (laughs) from Alabama, and we had them make us from the. um, Well, Sage, Case, and RJ, you you even did a lot, lot, right? Yeah, that's right. They put them to work. Yeah. We were like, let's do a lot of links. Let's just make a bunch of links and Sage and Case look at us like, what? Yeah. You want all that in links? <laughs> and I understand well, why now. It's well, you gotta it's understand. They make oh, yeah. they, they they created their own sausage. And oh my gosh, It's called it's Deer Park Sausage, mm-hmm. and can't even go into details. You did have to actually just ask them what it is because mm-hmm. it's trade secrets, and Kemper we're not allowed to wild say. Game processing. So That's anybody right. down south, if you really really want, want to try it, good. You got to bring sausage. your deer there. Mm-hmm. You got to yes. bring your meat there. Bring your meat there. But, oh my gosh, huh? It's worth it. It is it amazing. Is so is there. Um, their jalapeno <laughs> cheddar, um, just burger oh, stuff yeah. that they yeah, make the too. J- that stuff JBC, is so good. J- That's did they yeah, put bacon JBC. in it? Yeah, jalapeno, I think so. Bacon, yeah, cheese. Is that what they put in there? Something? Yeah. So oh I my have gosh, a question. We were in New, oh my gosh, we were in New Mexico earlier in the fall. Okay, you were. You, we all were. <clears throat> okay. You well, you and I were, and we stopped at that place and picked up those peppers. Oh. Oh, okay. Are those we the same peppers. Okay, sorry. I thought you meant hunting wise. No, I'm like, no, no, no Aubrey no. was with me in New Mexico. <laughs> no. Totally lost. Okay. okay, I know. When we went down by the ranch. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, mm. No, those are green chili peppers. Those yeah. are hatch green chili peppers. The peppers they put in all the sausage stuff is actually jalapenos or, or candied jalapenos. But those are okay. the best chili peppers you'll ever have. Yes, mm. the, the hatch mm. green. When we get, oh. we, we buy these, the bushel full of yeah, hatch like how green they said chilies. Mild. Yeah, they were supposed to be mild, but not <laughs> mild. Not mild. No, and they have mild. all these places at all the different um, the different grocery stores and different parking lots. I mean, you go down into so cool New Mexico, anywhere you go in September-ish, they're going to be mm-hmm. roasting fresh green chilies. And oh my gosh. So we take those, we brought them home, and we froze a bunch of them up and we cut them up and bunch. throw them in our... Yeah. We did. We bought a whole freaking huge bushel. bag of them. We, that, they last all year then. And, and, no, and, I know. and then, his, no. then his truck it smelled, it smelled like, like chili peppers chili. for yeah, like a you month. Remember? It was awesome. I do. It smelled good though. It, it did. Uh, yeah, it did. okay. Then <laughs> we're we're putting them in your Bronco <laughs> next year. <laughs> okay. Well, we should actually go ahead and make like some green chili like elk burgers sometime. We could like do a segment and show y'all what we do. It's really good. I'm just saying. So good. So good. Man, why do we talk about food like this? This is like Okay. I know. Well, so, it's almost lunchtime. So, oh, I mean, it, food's on our mind. Maybe. Right now. 11, something right now, yeah. I think. Something like that. Is I that what know. it is? I don't know. I don't have yeah. to watch it. Something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay. Something like well, that. Anyway, so <laughs> we went down to Hoppies <laughs> because we went. We we had yeah. our Traditions muzzle odors with us also. Yes, we had everything you can imagine packed into our truck <laughs> oh, on yeah. this trip. And we took out our Traditions on this trip. So we went down, and the first night out, um, Ralph was filming me. Mm-hmm. And you guys weren't too far from us. No, no, not at all. But you guys heard three shots go off, and I had three hogs down. Boom, boom, boom. And I mean, with the muzzle loader. Now, mind you, it didn't happen that fast. No, 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 but it's sort of, I mean, it was once they started moving. Oh, my gosh. And and we're we're literally, we're hunting, you know, on the ranch, we're we're hunting right off of the big canal. It's all uh, public land, and these these, these critters just come piling mm-hmm. out and i mean it, it and was the, so and you were shooting your nitro stick i was shooting my nitro fire and or the thing was is that that we were actually there to go ahead and help them out with some some doe population yeah. and mm-hmm. we could shoot a buck with it it was all ranch deer you yeah. know tags and stuff like that and that's what we were supposed to be doing down there and then this big old hog comes out and i'm like ralph <laughs> well yeah she, we're, we're supposed to be shooting deer you know yeah. what i mean we got a ton, nope. ton, ton of does to, to take and she's like so this hog comes out. He mm-hmm. comes out from you guys sat that stand. You know where yes. they come out. Yeah. And he comes out and he's just milling around. And I, I'm filming it. <laughs> and I, I like, I see her grab her muzzle over her traditions, <laughs> and it's going I'm up on the rail. I'm it's like, too late. She's made. Are you decision. shooting him? She goes, Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? And I'm like, Okay. So he fed to the left, and then he came right, and <laughs> done. And he like yeah. took two steps and and <clears> dropped. Perfect. And then we actually we had some spikes. Yeah, we had us. some spike, and there was mm-hmm. actually a couple other hogs in the area too, and everything kind of they didn't run off, but they walked off pretty quick. They didn't like the noise, the but it was the muzzleloader. Does, does it doesn't not... scare them like a rifle no, crack no, does. No. Mm-hmm. And then, um, so all of a sudden, we're sitting there, and a couple another. more, a couple more hogs come in because another so, suicidal. So it came <laughs> in, and I'm like, I had reloaded before they came before it came back in. I'm reloading, get it all set again. The hog starts coming in. I'm like, are you on him? <laughs> He was like, what Here are you goes. doing? So shot him and he dropped. And I was like, dang, this is 
This is amazing. This this setup that we were using that are on our nitro fires. So we've got a 120 fire stick, right? 120, yep. fi- 120, 120 grain, grain fire stick in there. With the carnivore, it was a 250 50 yep. grain bullet, Sabbath, oh. right? And oh, I got my gosh. Really, that it bullet performance, damage. when it's you insane. look at how it mushrooms yeah. out of a muzzle loader, it's phenomenal. It like is. It's, yeah. Because it's one of those things where when you're sitting in a stand and you know, if you shoot something, whether you're shooting in your bow, your gun, your muzzleloader, whatever it is that you're shooting with, you know, if you shoot it and it runs off, then you're always questioning yourself. Even though it could have been a great shot, you question yourself, so you may not shoot again. <laughs> you know, you may say, okay, well, maybe we need to get out of stand. Yeah, that's not but her now, case. It, but right now, I have two hogs down, and they're within 10 yards of each other in the field. So I reloaded again. Well, Looks like course. Custer's last stand with the muzzle <laughs> and, on And another hog, uh, two more hogs came in. Yeah, two more. And they were further out, and Ralph says, are you, are you going to shoot another one? And I go, well... No, only if they get on the other, if only if they come closer, they have to break this line. <laughs> they need to come closer to Where me. Where the other two hogs are laying. Right. I want them yeah. past that. I want them closer than that. And um, he worked his way over there. So Another I suicidal did it. I mean, run. Yeah. So I had three hogs down in about 15 yards right there. <laughs> and right there we're there. about maybe a third mile from you guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Say, during this yeah, entire we, time, we're sitting up on the stand. It's dead quiet. We had, I think we saw one, we saw like one hog the entire night and it never really yeah. came close enough. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it was, <laughs> we're just sitting there in silence and we hear, and it's, I actually jumped because it was yeah, so was like, silent. Like, like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and the self one? service isn't good. So like you're no. trying to text us and we're well, like, okay, hog down, yeah, hog mm-hmm. down. And then and once then we got here. back out to where we had phone service also and all of our messages yeah. are going through, but yeah, mm-hmm. it, was it was fun. A little bit later. <laughs> yeah, and shortly after that well, we one, look, another. We, we look at each other and we're like, was again? That, was that them again? Because we heard, we heard <laughs> oh, another shot off Vicky. in the distance. I was like, she's killing stuff. And we, at first, we heard the one way out in the distance and we were like, was that them? Because we didn't know how far you guys actually were yeah. from right, us. Yeah, because huh? we dropped you guys off on the way first, in. Yeah. Right. And then it was quiet for a while and then, oh, close. Mm-hmm. And we're like, oh, that, that was her. That was, that that was definitely them. Yeah. <laughs> We know that one for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that was like the first night out. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it was pretty awesome. We already got a whole bunch of pork in the in the freezer at that point. And then, um, so then the second night out, I filmed dad and you guys went out also. Yeah. Yep. And you guys didn't see anything? Uh, I'm trying to remember what you guys did the second night. Where did we sit? Second we were, oh, we you guys sat over. A, where did we yeah, sit? In a, where tripod. did we sit? Where you shot those oh, two hogs right. all the oh, way in the back there, okay. way, yeah. way, way, and way back. And you guys. until dark. That's what it was. Yeah. Like a whole right. group of them came out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So then we but sat. But at dark. Yeah. But at dark. dark. Of yeah. Of course. It always happens that yeah, way, you know. you know. But then where we were sitting, they they had um, an area where they had the trail cameras up and they were getting photos of some really nice bucks. Whoa. But then all of a sudden these two big boar hogs keep coming in mm-hmm. and messing them up. And they're like. You guys, it's going to be the luck of the draw. Whatever mm-hmm. comes in, the, the deer have not come back because these two boar hogs are here all the time. So they're like, so if you do see them, do not hesitate. I think it was take Sage care of them. and Dalton. And Dalton, Liz, yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're Did, like, remember, you need oh, to take care like, of this. Ralph, you, please. You, you got to shoot, shoot those hogs. Like, like, this is a hit list right here. Get those hogs out of there because they're destroying their deer hunting is what they're yeah. doing. And I know why they wanted they wanted us to take care of the hogs so they could get the so deer. So they so could they shoot could, the deer. Yeah. Yeah. You know yes. what I mean? I mean, we know it. So, you know, we we, did, we were the cleanup crew. It's yep. okay. That's all right. So, yeah. seriously, that's what happened is we're sitting there and then all of a sudden we see two hogs coming in. Huh? And they were fighting like the they, whole way. The whole way. Oh. Button and, you, yeah. you know what I mean? Not nudging yeah. each other. Yeah. and So, so he, got, he, yeah. got on, he got on his, on his, on his traditions there and uh, he was like, I go, okay, whenever you're ready, he goes, they need to separate. Because yeah. <laughs> they just, seriously, they, just they were gone. together yeah, the whole just, time. They were just fighting all yeah, the whole just time. Just pushing each mm-hmm. other the yeah. whole time. So, but anyways, yeah, so he shot one. Yep. And it dropped. And then um, he reloaded up in the spline that Hoppy and them had set up for and us. And it's hard. And you got a roof. Yeah, when you got a roof, it's hard. You're trying to use that ramrod and you got to put it at an angle. Yeah. And yeah. You, you found yeah. that out after the, when, you know, the next night. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but so then the one, the other hog, you shot the one hog and the other hog, it just went like 30 yards and come back yeah. around. And so he killed that one too. Just nah, I missed him. him. Oh, that's See, I didn't grass, even say that. He said that. And I was that. holding. I didn't want to hold center. I was holding low. And I think that's where I hit low. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. So and he had to reload just, again. Again, with the muzzle loaders, they, they're like, oh, nothing. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And so he gave me a second chance, and yep. yeah, he died. And so we let them know. It's quick to it, reload those. With a nitrous. fire stick is yeah. crazy. Oh, with a fire yeah. stick. Now, you know, we're going to, people are going to say, oh, man, that's, you know, that's not muzzle loaders and, and everything else. You know, in this world of ever-changing things, right, right? I, yep. I mean, 
if, if we can become better, you, you know what I mean, and, and control the measurements better, right. you know, water protection, the whole nine yards, the, it just, it's, it's a game changer. Mm-hmm. And we love it. We love it. We're actually it's still gonna... a single shot. You can't. Yeah. You still have to basically put that sabot, sabot bullet down the front of that barrel before yep. you can do anything else. Mm-hmm. You but I tell you so, what, we are going to experiment more with this year. Remember, we're, we're, we're going to we're going to check with traditions and, and maybe order a few different bullets and try to get the hundred grains you, you powder, know, yeah. you the know, fire sticks, and the yeah. fire sticks. And just see what we could do because they're just so fun. It is. It really is. So I mean, that was day two. So <laughs> now we have five hogs down. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, which was funny because we Pretty still don't have a deer down yet. Go cool. figure that one. Yeah. Know. Yeah. We go down there for deer and, <laughs> and come out with yeah. hogs. Yeah. We come out with hogs. Okay. And then the next well. night we go back out and this we time switch it up because we already have hogs down uh-huh. and you guys haven't shot anything. We split you up. You guys were not happy with us. <laughs> no. I'm just saying they no. were not happy. No, they're, they're like, just like. Vicky and I, because they want they want to they share, want to share it together. together. <laughs> but we're like you guys. We've already got hogs down. Yeah. Let us mm-hmm. film you guys. So, Dad filmed RJ and I filmed Aubrey that night. And what did you guys do? We you went guys... and spot and stalked with Sage, but we oh. didn't have much luck. That's, oh, That's we right. saw a hell of a buck, didn't we? A big buck. I don't remember. <laughs> yep, we All did. Right. Together. You don't remember? I don't remember. We were coming back out. And that that buck was crossing. He crossed by the sod where they where oh, they were cutting yeah. the sod. <laughs> I remember that. Now oh. you know, totally forgot. That yeah. was a hell of a buck for Flo- yeah. really for anywhere. That it was just even Sage was shocked. Yeah. I mean, they don't have any camera pictures of him, you know. But and we saw him and we hurried up. We got out. We, you know, we we got on the other side of that cypress head. Came around and he disappeared. Man, it was uh. pulled a Houdini. Yeah, and then they've Houdini. got winter wheat. Right? One, or rye. Rye, right? Rye. Right. Right. Yeah, they got rye out there for the cattle. Oh, my gosh. Were the hogs and deer piling in that? And, huh? turkeys. and turkeys. And turkeys. And yeah. turkeys. Uh, yeah, Tons of, of turkeys. Tur- which is good because come springtime. Then they, yeah. Who are you going to call? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Hog buzz. So that's, you guys that's where were... they hunt a lot of the turkeys. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And I mean, so it's just... How could you forget that buck? <laughs> I was thinking that was the next day. No, because I only filmed Aub- I, I filmed Aubrey one, one night because we, we got, got it done. <laughs> oh my gosh! Just saying, it's well, true. Guys, I forgot yeah, what you guys we went so, back there with um, Aubrey. It was where I actually shot my doe. The first to, time you ever shot a doe with yeah, a gun a with the muzzle loader was down there. So mm-hmm. it's not they they call it the dump, but it's not a dump. No, we were it's down that lane. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So then, so we There's got in there. Yep. Yes. Yep. So we drove out there and. um Aubrey and I, because it was just her and I going out there because Hoppy Head was doing something else and you guys were with Sage. So Aubrey and I went out there and we're like, okay, well, we'll see what happens. And we sat there and she was ready and we saw those two black hogs first. Yes. And it was really hard because I could see them with the camera and she couldn't see them with the muzzle loader. <clears throat> and um, they kind of milled in and out they and were, out behind yeah. like a tree where you couldn't see them. And yep. then all of a sudden they come out. And also they come running at like we're we're up in oh, yeah, a we're up in a blind. Us. They come mm-hmm. running towards us, and all of a sudden we look and there's all these little piggies piglets. with them, little piglets with them. We're like, oh, yeah, and yeah, they come running behind us, and then they Go they got us. behind us, got our yeah. wind, and then they like scurried off. And we're like, whoa, that Didn't was see crazy. Them again, but yeah, and then so I'm filming her telling me what had just happened. Mm-hmm. So we had that piece, and all of a sudden she goes, "There's a doe over there," and I'm like, "What?" Like and she's just like a couple minutes time. after, like yeah, it wasn't even that long after. I'm like, no. "There's a doe." And I'm like, where? Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, Vicky, big hunter. There's a doe over there. <laughs> like, there's a doe. Come well, on. I was filming her and yeah. I was going back. I was just yeah, finishing. You're, you're... I was not looking out there no, because yeah. I was using the camera. Yeah. I, doe's over here. Aubrey's over here. Exactly. I can't see out the side of my head. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, I, <laughs> sure. Was in the game. I sure thought you could I at was. home. <laughs> Well, I can at home. I see what you're doing. In the back of your head at home. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> uh-huh. So we get set up and she go. I, I go, you on it? And she's like, oh, she goes, are you on it? And I go, yeah. And she, <laughs> she just smoked that dough. I mean, she just she boom, dropped, dropped and done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It it's, was perfect. So I pull back out and film her, and she is just, I mean, it was awesome. <laughs> she was so excited. So then we're so like, it okay. should be. Yes. Exactly. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. So she had the smile she had on her face. Oh, my gosh. It was awesome. <laughs> and it was even, great. like, in that moment, you don't even realize the gun went off, did, no. did you? No. Yeah, no. Not at all. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's, it's insane. It's all the adrenaline. Though. Right. Yeah. Uh, and you know, you know what else we, though, we had to do, though, is we kind of... Um, we adjusted. We we made things work yeah, right because right. what happened was is where we how we were sitting in the seats on this 
elevated stand that they have us in, it's almost like a blind though, and it has a roof on it, but the chairs don't move. No, but it has a they rail all the yeah. way around. And she was gonna. She said, "I'm gonna have to kneel to shoot because she wanted to have that for to shoot the railing to shoot, but it was gonna be too low yeah. for her to where the animals were at because they were closer, and not that far out." Mm -hmm. And um, so we ended up taking her Alps backpack, just buckling it and onto putting the it on top of the rail and buckling it so that when <laughs> hey, she that did works. shoot, yeah, well, yeah it, it gave you a rest, rest. Great. a higher rest. Yes. yes, it gave her a higher. Well, I did the same thing if you remember, but with yes. just the rope. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. So he took rope out of my pack, and, and actually, hey, that, that's why when she said she wasn't sure if she was going to be able to, because of where the rail was at, and I'm like, well, Ralph used rope. I'm like, let's use your backpack. So we put yeah. the backpack on Smart there, and move. we just clapped. We just snapped the um the front shoulder things together, so. If she shot and got excited and lifted the gun, the pack wouldn't fall all the way to the ground. <laughs> yeah. you know, so, I mean, that so what I'm hearing is it was kind of like uh, the elk situation. Yes. Where there was a lot oh, of yeah. movement, well, a lot of noise. No, wait, no, no. no. It gets better. It gets better. Well, no, wait, it gets better. When we into the blind, I had dropped a bullet in a yes. fire stick and it went and hit the ground. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm a mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So then, yeah. so she shoots this doe and we're like, all right, well we need to reload. Yes. So she reloads and we're like, great, okay. So we're sitting there and all of a sudden she goes, Vicky, there's a, there's a hog behind us. <laughs> so we're like, okay. So we're sitting on these chairs and we're scooting we're around. We're moving go. ourselves around so we can <laughs> shoot behind us now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause we were shooting this way. Now we gotta go this way. So we go and do that and we move the backpack over. You we get the it bag set, over and reattached yes. it. Reattached yeah. it. The hog comes out and runs. Yeah. Oh. And as, yeah. It, as it runs, we turn and we look, and now there's more there's hogs more on, the on the other side. side. <laughs> so it is so almost like, just okay. like our, my elk hunt. We're, just we're like, all right, back. unattach the backpack, mm -hmm. go back around, bring the camera back around. <laughs> yep. and, and then, and then like, I don't even know how many hogs were there. What would you there say? There was like 10, there's maybe 10. Maybe more than that. I oh, mean, there, okay. was a, there was a lot of hogs that came yeah, out. Yeah, there was and, a bunch. But they, were all, they weren't like tight together but they were fairly close together yeah. and i was just i'm like okay which one are you gonna go for like because there's a bunch of hogs out yeah. there you know but there was one that had like a ghost face kind that's of, exactly what you like, said because i'm gonna go for like one with a ghost yeah. go and i go one. okay that's good yeah. and that hog come in uh, oh, as, yeah. as he's walking around and they're all milling around, and the grass is so high yeah that's mm -hmm. the thing is the grass is so high in there and they come milling around and she's like are you ready and i'm like yeah and she just pins <laughs> this hog and it, she hits it and it comes running <laughs> towards us and then goes and skirts around and the crazy thing was is that I'm like, okay, like everything I've filmed this week has dropped. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like, oh boy. So mm -hmm. I rewind it to look to see like where her hit was. So it's a it's a muzzle loader. It's a traditions, you know? And just like my hog a couple of years ago with the muzzle loader, it showed the smoke when it hits it, it's like you let's have a the, smoke. You saw we saw the smoke, the smoke come yeah. out of its chest. Yeah. That was crazy. So I thought she <clears throat> like hit low and back. Because that's where the smoke, when you went slow on the on the footage, it looks like she hit low and back. Yep. So we're like, okay, well, listen, let's um, it's starting to get, it's starting, you know, starting the sun's starting to go down. Let's we're done. Let's go ahead and get done. So we climb out, we start walking, we go and recover the doe. We know the doe is there. Case, we had text Case because yeah. he was back in town, back by the camp there, and he said, call us, you know, text me if you guys shoot anything. So we let him know, and he and Ryan show up. Yeah. We're already taking pictures by the doe because the doe mm -hmm. was right there. She's Not right a big, there. yeah, yep. beautiful big doe too. Yeah, yeah, big doe. Perfect. So we're, <laughs> we're we're taking photos, and all of a sudden, Case and Ryan show up with Missy with Case's little what is it a spaniel a uh, Springer Springer spaniel something something it's like something that. it's Some something cocker spaniel so something I don't know it's a beautiful little dog and yeah, he takes her bird hunting and you know does a little trailing out with mm -hmm. her so. Anyways, we're like, okay. And he's like, okay, well, did you, you say you shot a hog too? We're like, yeah, we need to go find that one. And then it's like, okay. So we go back up to where we said we thought we hit it. And he goes, well, there's blood right there. I'm like, nope, that's the doe. Yeah. He goes, did you shoot them both in the same spot? We're like, yeah, pretty, pretty much. Pretty that's, much. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. So we walk a couple more steps though. And, and all of a sudden the blood so trail was crazy, blood. crazy, crazy. So, she yeah. pinned oh, him. Yeah. She, mm -hmm. she heart shot of him. Course. She has a habit of heart shooting things. I do. I like to shoot him in she, the hearts. You do. She heart shoots everything. Oh, I, trust me, it's I know crazy. It's, you better seriously, look out, kid. I'm scared. You know, so I mean, honestly. Don't piss her off. Yeah. So, I mean, seriously. So now we have, we now have six hogs and a mm. doe down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the last night, I filmed you again, and we didn't really see anything. We went around, we went no. spotting and stalking, yep. and we didn't really see much anything like that. But you two went out, and what happened? Go for it, Archie. You're the one who <laughs> hunted. I'll stutter and stuff. Well, so. <laughs> we, uh, I had a little bit of a rough time this year because I was. We started off. Film, I started off filming you, and mm -hmm. then I just, I was running around trying to get things down, and it's, it took me a couple of days. But finally, we we sit up in a 
the stand where you shot your yeah. three hogs yeah, the first hogs. day. And sure enough, no hogs showed up, but <laughs> we had plenty <laughs> of deer. <laughs> That's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we had, on our way in, we'd seen the group of four spikes that you guys had yep. seen. Yep. Yep. They're hanging in the back there. Yeah. That that set off a thing in my head. I'm like, okay, I got to make sure I'm yeah, not going to shoot a spike. Yeah, don't shoot a spike. Yeah. Aubrey and I were sitting there like, we got our binos out, we're looking at them, look through in. the scope, and we're just yeah. like making sure, and a doe <laughs> comes in, and then a spike comes in. And then I'm like, okay, is this is this the first the doe? Is it a, is it a small spike? Mm-hmm. I just can't tell. Yeah, because remember one like two of them had they're just little, barely little, yeah. little. Yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> they they come in. Sure enough, I'm like, okay, this is a doe. Let's do this. Yeah. So we get ready, get up on it, shoot it, drop it. I mean, it just put it straight down. I think yeah. it actually broke broke both shoulders. Yeah. It was just 250 oh, grain we, slug, oh, man. That's yeah. Wait a minute. It's insane. Didn't you miss? I think that was the second one. Oh, I thought you missed on the first, one. the first one. It was the first one because, yeah, it was the first one. Oh, we yeah. heard We heard three shots. Yes, it was yes. the first one. Yeah. The first one I, I missed, but yes. it's because there wasn't a bullet in the chamber. Or not a bullet. Uh, uh, yeah, a bullet. Slug, Stab in the, yeah. A slug yeah. in, the, in the barrel. Right? Would it be a slug in the barrel? Yes. Not, not yes. A yeah. In the chamber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The sabotage bullet yes. was down. That was yes. not down in the barrel. So you didn't just... load it? Yeah. Apparently not. I just I thought it, I thought it was because it wasn't me that used it the night before, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so which one had it? I'm just kidding. I don't know. We had two down there, so and we mm-hmm. cleaned them out. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. So go on. I don't know. Anyhow, so anyways, anyways. Uh, I missed the first shot, and then the second shot. <laughs> How far are we talking? It. 75 yards, something like that? Yeah, no. 60, like 50. That. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, very yeah. Okay. 70, 60. Right. Um, second shot pins it, drops it right there. The spike ran away for a second, came back, looked at it, sniffed it, <laughs> walked in, started milling around again. Yeah, <laughs> like, they don't care. Okay, yeah, sure. They're used to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially with the Kempfers. <laughs> you know oh, what I mean? Oh, my gosh, yeah. Uh, night goes on a little bit. We have a couple more to show up. Another spike comes in. And I'm like, okay, this is probably going to be the group of spikes. Another one comes in, and I'm like, mm, no, that's that's a doe. Right, Aubrey? <laughs> <laughs> Aubrey, is that a doe? Give her the bino. She looks at it. I think that's a doe. Okay. Get the gun on it. That's got to be a doe. Okay, it's a doe. So we go ahead and shoot it, and thankfully, they were both those. <laughs> yeah, they were, but we doubled, Good job. Oh, good yeah. job. <clears throat> we got we up quadruple. Oh, yeah. That's because you did like, the Reese. You know, you're yeah. watching, yeah. you're making, trying. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, I don't care who you are. You know, you always start second guessing yourself. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. you don't want to do something no, that, you know, I mean. Yeah. They're, you know, they have a good management program. Right. It works with the state, with Steve, you know, the biologist and everything. So, you know, you, you want to try to help them, mm-hmm. not hinder them yes. in any way. Yeah. Right. Guess right. what? We didn't. We did. We all no. did good, which was awesome. Yeah. So we had plenty of meat to come home. Oh from yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Good. Delicious meat. Yeah. Lots of meat. You know, which is good. One. What's crazy is, you know, people go, man, that's that's not a big buck. You you know, when you see some, but you got to, it's it's all relative where you're at. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, a big deer down there, you know, 115, 120 inches, you know, they shoot some bigger ones for sure. Oh, yeah. But a lot of, you know, it, you've just got to, but when we saw a couple of those <laughs> big bucks, mm-hmm. you you know, you we were talking, you know, 135, 140 inch buck. In That's Florida. huge. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not quite like Illinois. <laughs> no. 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 Not at all. <laughs> but it sure was fun and we it can't was. thank oh, yeah. the Kempfers enough, you it know. Was. And, 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 and Dr. Chris and Lisa. Yeah, I was going to say, and our freezers are full, so now we don't have to worry about buying any of that expensive stuff at a store. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. No. And it's better. It's better taste. It's better. That's right. We know where it came from. We know exactly where it came from. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is one of the things. And with this being January, Mm -hmm. right, um, we have a a really fun announcement, huh? Yeah. (laughs) You know, know, and, and we commend everybody, you know, everybody tries to you know help to go to their their manufacturers their, their partners and say hey listen can we do a you know a christmas giveaway you, you know what i mean yeah we decided not to do that that's past no, year we wanted to do something a little different mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah so we have a new year new gear giveaway new year new, new gear year. giveaway Ooh, yeah. so technically it will be ending on january 18th so if you're watching this after january 18th mm-hmm. sorry it's too late you can't enter <laughs> sorry yeah, sorry but anyways 2024. Yes, 2024. Oh, 2024. Yeah. 2024, January 18th. That's when it ends. Yeah. Just so if you're watching this, don't go yelling at us because you can't get into it if you watch it after the 18th. Just saying. Just going to clarify mm-hmm. that. That's yes. that little asterisk that they put in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, they, they have that guy so, that yes, talks real go. fast. Yes. I think I could talk so really fast. Do you think I could talk really fast? 
I'm just saying. I'm just I saying. It out. Anyways, <laughs> but it is. It's going to be a great giveaway, and so we've got a new yeah. year, new gear giveaway mm-hmm. coming up. And well, actually, it's going now. I guess or close yeah. to it. Right? When, this yeah. is, when this is up, it'll be. It'll be right. It's run. the fifth to the eighteenth of January, twenty twenty four. Yep. So yep. That, and a that's lot it. of good, a, lots lot. of good stuff. Stuff from Browning Hoyt. Gamo, Easton, Elks. Just go check out the post. I mean, there's just a ton of it. Yeah, so packages. It's going to be insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but also what we also just did too is we just had Joel Turner from Shot IQ here at our house, and um, he is amazing guy. Shot IQ. If you've never heard of it, I mean, now mind you, Ralph and I, we have been Ralph been shooting bows a heck of a lot longer than I have, but um, love you, but (laughs) Joel. The way you're always taught to shoot is draw, anchor, aim, release. And he has a different theory on it. And he has really and truly helped us all. And I think he's made it a little more fun again for us. Huh? Absolutely. Well, the for crazy sure. thing is, is, you know, his whole life, life experiences, you, you know what I mean? And, and, you know, on the police force, on the snipers, mm-hmm. training all these, you know, these, the law enforcement and, and understanding like life, man, is a mind game. Right, it is. it's right. a damn mind game, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't care what you're doing, We're throwing a baseball, you know, r- writing a book, writing an article, you know, shooting a bow, whatever it is, it, it's it's has something something to do with your mind. And he he just he went through target panic, buck fever. He yep. went through it all, like all of us, really, like mm-hmm. everybody. Yes. But he came. He, he just couldn't give it up. You, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, right. And, he, he, and, and his mind is crazy the way he figured it out. Yeah, oh. just, oh. Words, it was all his own all doing it. that he was figuring it out. You know what I mean? And that he finally he's like he needed a blueprint of exactly how he knew when he made a good shot and exactly what happened. Yep. You know, and so we just had him here for a day and a half and. We can't thank him enough because honestly, I think there's some things. And now, seriously, so Aubrey and I are shooting great. We've yeah. got the whole things going on, but oh, yeah. he also got Ralph and RJ to shoot bare bow, bare bow. their Hoyts with a release with so, no so, sights. Yeah. yeah, understand that no sights. I remember when it's I first weird. walked in. We uh, it was the first time I'd met mm-hmm. Joel. Yep. And you got he, he came the night <clears> we before. were in a cave. Yeah, you guys had dinner with him. We met him that next morning, and uh, we walk in there. We go to get the lights set up and camera gear and whatnot, and. You show me your bow right when you guys walk in. And Joel's like, look, look at your dad's bow. What's missing? What's, What's missing? <laughs> and I, I saw the sight, but then I also looked at the knock. Or I'm sorry, uh, the knock point and the D-loop, and that's what threw me off the most. The big D-loop. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy long and everything else, and it was just – it was interesting to did see Did you say it. you saw you the saw sight? sight? I saw no sight. So oh, you saw no sight. sight. Saw, okay. I'm like, how did you – there was no sight. Okay. okay. Yeah. I, I recognized that there wasn't a sight. Gotcha. But then the first thing that I caught on was the D loop, and I was yeah. like, "Well, it's a two. It's like a two inch D loop." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's you anchor. Well, yeah. I guess you'd anchor. You anchor like you right anchor back around your cheekbone. Y- yep. So what it's doing, it's bringing that arrow closer, as close y- as you can as, to your eye. Let's let's face it. Y- you shoot your whole entire lives, right? Y- you know what I mean. Y- you love it, and you get sort of complacent you, yeah you know what i mean you, <laughs> joel brought back the love of i, I mean you, we now see what a compound you come you draw mm-hmm. you anchor down here okay mm-hmm. the only time you see the arrow in flight really right. the only time you should see the arrow in flight is when it enters into your arch and you know and, yeah. and right. comes on down right yep. Yep. You're, and with this it's like you're like when i first started you know, and mm-hmm. why I loved it. You watch that arrow from release. You go, mm-hmm. you, you, you know what I mean? And oh, yeah. it just, uh, I, I remember Uncle Ted always talked about, you know, the, the flight of the arrow. You, yep. You, you know yep. what I mean? And we've always talked about it because that's archery. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I mean? And when he brought back t- showing RJ and I how to do it, it's just a freaking blast. It is. You, so you, RJ, when you, when he had you taking that bare bow and you tried, I mean, they, he set up your RX eight, your yeah. new your new hoy. New, we pulled it out of the box that and day, he yeah. set it up and, that way yeah. to, to shoot bare bow, which mm-hmm. is insane. Mm-hmm. But so your first shot or two, what did you think? Because you've never done that. I mean, you've yeah. shot recurves and stuff, but it still wasn't the same oh, as no, this. Oh no, not at all. No. Yes, that's the weird thing is, like, even with with using a release. And getting it to your eye, like you still, like when you shoot recurve, it's you get that instinctive feeling and you just kind of got to feel it and look down the arrow. But with that release, with it being on a compound, it just completely felt different. And yeah. Because it you could hold it rather the than let yeah. off. It's more stable. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? And 
And it's it's just wild. It, it just. I but would, I can say enough. I but, will admit, I love love watching the arrow just fly yeah. from like from the knock from your eye point. But I don't necessarily love when you see when you watch it go down and go. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Past, right past the target. target like, Ouch. Like, yeah. How 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 gonna... many arrows did you lose when you guys went out and shot at the target? Well, at the first, first wait. Time day. out. Two, three. Yeah. Here, maybe. Joel takes Joel takes his stick bow. Okay. Right. He's got a long bow. <laughs> and we shot at like fifteen. We went to twenty or twenty-five on the elk target, mm-hmm. right? And we all pulled the arrows. And RJ and I, you know, we were st- we stood by the target, and Joel keeps walking away from us, and keeps walking away, <laughs> <laughs> and keeps walking away, and we're like, oh. Damn, what's he doing? You know what I mean? And I, he went about 55 or 60 yards. Yeah. And he goes, let me show you. And again, he, he proves his theory, you know, his technique. <laughs> and he just, huh? He yeah. just sits there and he does, he holds with his thumb, yeah. which is pretty wild. Like huh? the Mongolians. And he's like. <laughs> and you watch this yellow feather going, ooh, thump. Mm-hmm. Right in the chest cavity. Mm-hmm. That's elk. insane. Well, insane. He picked up every one of our bows, yeah. and within two and shots, shot. and within two he shots, he was up any of the bows that were hanging. That's what, yeah. Any of the yes. bows that we had in the shop. Yeah. And within two shots, he was pinning. Yeah. Our targets. Yep. And he just like <laughs> it's he, like <laughs> yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah left and right handed. I mean like he it didn't oh, matter because I mean obviously we have a couple lefties around here and a couple righties around yeah. here, but yeah. Recurve yes. compound any of them. Yeah, yeah. Just it didn't matter. It was cool. He's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, and so here's the deal. If any of you are, you know, you, you want to become better, period. Yes. You, or or if you're struggling, you, you know, with, with target panic or buck fever, and you really, really want to become better and, in, and, and get the, the love and the passion back to it, Joel Turner Shot IQ <laughs> is no joke. He has it, an online course. And, yes. And he even has a new course which is mind IQ to help yeah. you in life, right. which is something just else. Life just life in general. Yes. Yeah. I think just from learning and listening to him about mm-hmm. shot IQ, I can already see how all of that relays back to life. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Absolutely. So, so the decisions ways. you have to make, mm-hmm. everything that you have to lay out for you to shoot better, it totally goes right into your life. I mean, truly does. I mean, it, it was a blessing to have him here to, oh, to, yeah. to go over all that with us. And, you know, honestly, you can go ahead and you can check it out. And, and he I is mean, a blast. He's a, oh, yes, he is so a who? Oh, my gosh. He was <laughs> waiting will for be one of us together. to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was waiting for one of us just to tell him to get lost. Because he's like, go on. I won't say what he said. But um, he was <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, go ahead. You know, and we're like, no, we're not going to get that mad at you. He tried. He oh, tried yeah. to make us mad. Oh, yeah. He did. But he was getting his points across mm-hmm. to us. And it was all in jest it was all in fun <laughs> but you can factor. you can that's yeah. exactly it that's i was <laughs> yep mm-hmm. and so yes but he but uh, he has an online course though too yes, that you can you've take you got to check that out you because really should it, it's well worth the investment yes be, because i'm going to tell you right now it's a series of videos that you'll sit and you you the first like the first time i, I started remember i was right I, I had it on my ipad and, yep. and we, we were listening she, to it yep and and we're watching it you're like huh huh <laughs> And then watch it again. And then you're yep. like, the light goes off. And then I actually want to go ahead and sign back in and watch the whole course again, mm-hmm. just because yeah. we got a crash course on it. And it was, I mean, we shot so much better already yeah. that I, I'm thinking if I go ahead and I watch that whole course again online, I think that that's going to even more, mm-hmm. you know, where you're squeeze the trigger mm-hmm. or what. <laughs> Anyways, I guess you have to watch it. You, you, you have yeah. to figure it out. You got to watch it yourself to see what we're talking mm-hmm. about. But I mean, Joel, thank you again if you're Joel, watching this. Oh my thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for that. Yeah. And his son, awesome. Brody. Yep. Oh, probably yeah. one of the best archers on the planet. Yes. Mm-hmm. He's and going we ain't all over seen the place. Nothing yet from him, huh? Mm-hmm. He's already done everything and he's going to. Wow. He's and he, so applies, much yeah. he applies. He applies. There, there's living proof. Right. Absolutely. He applies what dad knows, what Joel knows, and it's just crazy. And it's, again, life is a mind game, right? No, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. No doubt about it. And speaking of mind games, the rest of this month of January. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so we're <laughs> going to be going to the Dallas Safari Club. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, we'll be the, there. The convention in Dallas. Yeah. We're excited. We're going to be there on the floor the 10th, 11th, no, the 11th. 12th and 13th and we've come home on the 14th we'll miss sunday's thing but we'll be there every day <laughs> so if you guys are around if you're getting listen to this before that happens come visit us and then we go to the shot show later in the month i think it's like the 
third, fourth, fifth, and I don't know. Yeah, it's something. something. Like it's down that week anyway. Yeah. So we're not next yet. month, close. right? Not but next yet. month we're gonna have a lot of stuff to discuss mm-hmm. and different things to 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 tell oh, you yeah. what we saw at Dallas Safari Club and at Shot Show, and we'll also be doing some other things. We'll be posting up some other videos, mm-hmm. so not just here on the podcast. Of new products, yes. plenty of new yes. products, and actually, I'm kind of excited to have you guys go to Dallas Safari Club with us. I am. We've really been there before, excited. but we want when you guys oh, yeah. walk that floor and you see the mounts. Oh, that's, so that's what we've heard. I you guys gosh. are gonna yeah. absolutely yeah. love it. So I will I can't not wait. look up anything online because I just want to no. get there and experience it. Yes, uh, exactly. It is. I'm avoiding. It'll fry your mind. It will. It will. Seriously, I can't wait. The, we'll do some videos on it. And, yeah. and the artwork mm-hmm. and just everything. Just, and, and I mean, outfitters from around, international. All, yeah. I, mean, I mean, actually, everywhere. we'll be able to see, we'll see Rach, we'll see Fricky. We'll see Rachel from New Zealand, from yeah. Ethan yeah. Valley. We'll see cool. Fricky from, from Fricky to Toy Safaris. So, yeah. We'll end up seeing Glenn Venus from uh, Trophy from West. DC. Yeah. Yeah. You, well, you should be able to see Bob Effort from Effort's yeah, uh, Hunting, Newfie from yes. Newfie. Yeah. yeah. Who am I missing? We're, we're, we'll see a lot Anyways, of old we're gonna friends, see a lot of them. And, yeah, so and, uh, I mean, it's going to be fun. It's, it's going to be, be a, it's we'll going to be a great end time. Up figuring out a new couple new adventures to share with everybody. Yeah, but we'll go over all of that for February, yep. right? Yep. That yep. we're going to yeah. do. February. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, if you're still listening to the podcast, just so you guys know, <laughs> <laughs> um, most podcast or all podcasts will be coming out uh, the first Friday of every month from here on out. Yes. Just for future reference, I'll make a post about it and everything else. Yeah, but, we'll make yeah. a post. So yes. don't forget, uh, New Year, New Gear yep. giveaway, giveaway. Yep. from the 5th to the 18th. Um, and don't forget, most of all, that we can't thank you all enough. Yes. And mm-hmm. we wish you and truly the best and most prosperous New Year for everybody. Mm-hmm. And hopefully there are changes coming down the pipe and there are changes for all of America. Yep. Amen. Absolutely. Yes. Whew. Yes. So I know RJ usually does this. We do hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. Um, if you liked it, hey, be sure to like it. What do we got to do? We got to go ahead and subscribe to us. Subscribe Share on it. YouTube. Go like our Facebook page. Follow us on Instagram. Of course, we have yes. at Earl and Vicky for all of those and at RJ and Aubrey for all those as well. Yes. Uh, and pretty much any social platform at this point. I mean, there's thousands out there, so not all right. of them. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and he's yelling at us. I'm supposed to be on TikTok. Yeah. Can I post more okay. on TikTok? All right. All Even right. Though, we'll see. Well, I'm not going to go down that one. Yeah, don't go down that one. <laughs> no, don't go down that one. <laughs> I said that in the last podcast. Nope, nope, nope. TikTok. All right. Isn't that overseas? Yes. I'm not no. going down that one. <laughs> okay. No. Anyways, if you again, we appreciate your guys' time. Thank you for watching. Yes. God bless you. Thank Take you care. Happy, Happy New, New Year's. Year's. The Choice Podcast is proudly partnered with Traditions Performance Firearms. Feel the difference. Cyclops Lights. Get out of the dark. Spy Point. Connected to your passion.